And earlier we did mention the steroid treatment uh, President Trump, Trump is currently taking. It's just one of several drugs being used to treat the president. Another is getting tested right here in Atlanta. CBS 46 is Yasmina Austin live tonight with this story. Yasmina, you actually talked to the doctor that's leading this trial. Brittany, that's right. And on Friday, President Trump was given a single dose of Regeneron after testing positive for the coronavirus. Now, this is an experimental drug that doctors are hoping can help in the fight against the coronavirus. The name of the drug is Regeneron COVID-2. It's an experimental drug being tested in order to try and fight off the coronavirus. And it's a combination of two monoclonal antibodies that were developed based on science that Regeneron had done to assess what would block the COVID virus from sticking to cells within the patient's lungs and body. The drug is in the early stages of trial, with phase one and two being complete, according to Dr. Nicholas Cronus. Now, this is also the drug that was given to President Donald Trump, who currently has the coronavirus. The president was given a single dose on Friday. The earlier trials, phase one and phase two, were encouraging, and I think that's not only the reason that the uh, company has moved so rapidly into phase three trials, but also why they would have used this in the president of the United States. Dr. Kronos is running a trial of the drug in Georgia, including in Metro Atlanta. He says they're looking at the use of this drug to prevent people who have been exposed to someone with the coronavirus from becoming infected and reduce the likelihood of getting infected. Patients who are involved in clinical trials are not only giving themselves an opportunity to have the future of medicine and maybe be benefiting themselves, but this is the way we take drugs through the FDA. And again, like mentioned, the trial is still in the very early stages. Reporting live in Atlanta, Yasmina Alston, CBS 46 News. Yasmina, thank you.